Getting a new pet dog can be an exciting time in your life. You're gaining a new buddy and family member that will be there for you for many years to come. However, it's easy to get caught up in the enthusiasm and forget that your new puppy will most likely require more than just a bag of food and a water dish. If you want to ease into the life of a dog owner, you should absolutely consider purchasing some of the goods in this video. Hello there, welcome to DogJoy. Today we have compiled some essentials you cannot do without if you are a new dog owner. Stick with us to the end to find out the most important item to make life easy for you and your canine. Number 10. Portrait Painting Well, this might not be an absolute necessity. Here at DogJoy, we believe in the fun factor and what's not fun about getting an amazing high-quality portrait of your dog up on your wall. Sure, your pooch can live a good and happy life without a picture of themselves on the wall, but why not glam things up with some doggy decor? A dog portrait painting is an ideal method to express your affection for your pup. The painting can be hung in any part of the house, including the kitchen, bedroom, or right in the midst of the living room, where it will serve as the loveliest conversation piece ever. Plus, it'll make your dog feel like a part of the family. Number 9. Fur Removal Equipment The only solution to avoid clumps of hair is to obtain a non-shedding breed, such as a Poodle or Maltese. However, if you have a breed that is prone to losing its coat, certain grooming practices may be beneficial. They will not completely reduce shedding, so make sure you get something that can remove fur from your black work pants and Lazy Boy recliner. Lint rollers work nicely, especially washable ones that don't need to be reloaded with rolls of tape. You could also check out the grooming glove, which seems to be all the rage these days. Number 8. Throw Rugs If your home is well carpeted, throw rugs may not be necessary. However, rugs can also protect your pet from slipping and sliding all over your hardwood floors if you live in a building with a lot of them. Many dogs, particularly older ones, struggle to establish traction on these types of surfaces. If throw rugs aren't working, consider fitting your dog with gripping boots. It will not only have improved mobility, but it will also be stylish. Warning, they may walk a bit awkwardly until they get used to them. Number 7. Find a comfy bed You might be tempted to snuggle up with your puppy in bed the first night you bring them home. However, browsing dog beds and selecting one that is appropriate for your canine is a good choice. There are numerous types of dog beds available. Whether you prefer a simple bed or something more opulent, there are solutions for every dog out there nowadays. Number 6. Get your young pup a crate while you may be tempted to take a few days off work to get to know your new dog, the truth is that they will be left alone at some point. Another reality is that dogs enjoy exploring their new surroundings, which frequently includes going to areas they shouldn't and trying out the various flavours in your home. Instead of going home to a chewed through door, have a look at various dog crates. These things come in a variety of shapes and sizes and perform a range of tasks. Basically, it's a spot where you can leave your dog safely so that they don't wake up and cause trouble or misbehave while you're away. To be honest, it is a good idea to look at a number of different types to ensure that you obtain a crate that is both spacious enough for your dog and comfy. These are not intended to be a punishment, but rather to keep your dog out of mischief as they learn the rules of your family. They should be out and about when you're home so you can teach them, play with them and correct their actions so they know how to behave in the future. While adult dogs are less likely to require a crate than puppies, it all comes down to the individual pet. Number 5. A Good Dog Leash Nothing is worse than your dog going out of control and running off to danger. That is why it is vital to have a collar and leash available when you first adopt your dog. Of course, if it's still a puppy, they're not going to run out of your arms between the car and your house. However, keep in mind that they are being introduced to a new environment. This can be stressful for pets. As a result, you must not only have a leash or harness for them, but it must also be adequate for their size and weight. If you are bringing home a large dog, it may be a good idea to have something made of sturdy materials that limit the distance they may wander. And these days there are some great leashes that won't harm or choke them if they try to dart off. Number 4. Some Chew Toy this is central to the concept of getting a good crate. Young puppies will enjoy exploring different areas of your home as they explore ways to engage themselves, strengthen their jaws, and chew on things in the hopes of tasting a delicious flavor. It's rooted in them. 
Toys are a good option if you want your dog to chew on something safe, constructive and less likely to end up in a trip to the vet. There are a variety of chew toys available that will meet all of the requirements while not breaking the bank. You might want to grab something that you can use to assist play between your dog and you, such as a toy that you can hold while they pull on it. It's also a good idea to buy dog toys that they can play with on their own. Some qualities to look for in a good toy are high quality construction, the safety of the materials used and the cost. Toys are far too many and it may take some effort to find one that truly speaks to your dog, but it's better than losing a table leg. Before moving on, make sure to like and subscribe the channel. This way you'll be the first to know when we publish more amazing videos. Number three, bags and scoopers. Now it's time to look at some fundamental biology. Your dog will go and someone, hopefully you, will have to pick up after them. The last thing you want is to be caught off guard. Whether you have a great yard for them to occupy or they are roaming about town with you in tow. As a result, both of these goods, bags and scoopers, are listed together here. These things are used to clean up your dog while keeping your hands as clean as possible. When you're on the run with your dog and need a quick way to pick up and dispose of their feces, the bags are perfect. Scoopers are a nice tool to have if your dog prefers to go outside in your yard. That way you can wait a few days before going out to collect the waste without making a huge mess or bending down repeatedly. It's not a pretty business, but the first time you use borrowed napkins to clean up after your dog, you'll definitely wish you had stopped to buy some of these supplies. Number two, self-filling dog and cat fountains. Another thing you should get for your doggy is a self-filling water dispenser. Some days are really hot and your dog will want a lot of water. Also, your dog may flip the bowl over, causing a splatter. This means they have nothing to drink. A self-filling water dispenser can resolve both of these problems. These tend to be a little bulkier than your usual dog bowl, so they might not flip as readily. Another advantage is that you may put a large amount of water in the bowl and let it dispense over time, leaving your dog with plenty of fluids to slurp and stay hydrated. Lastly, number one, doggy gates. Setting limits with your dog is a critical worry for anyone attempting to train a new canine. You may not want the dog to enter your bedroom or go downstairs to your basement. In any case, when you're in the training period with your new puppy, you'll need to physically place boundaries to keep your pup where they're intended to be. A dog gate, just like a baby gate, is the ideal answer in this situation. A dog gate will physically stop your dog from entering areas you do not want them to go, protecting your valuables and teaching them that there are boundaries within your home. That being said, you must be sure that the gate is tall enough to prevent your dog from simply jumping over it. With some pets, simply blocking the area will be adequate to repel them. Others will require a higher barrier, which they may attempt to overcome before giving up. You may need to explore a little bit before deciding on the ideal doggy gate for you. You will want to get a variety of products for your new puppy. There are some though that you should probably get before bringing them home. For instance, if you are in a home without a yard, you may want to get some potty pads. While this is certain to be an exciting time, it is absolutely necessary to be prepared. So are there any items you recommend that we missed on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.